Hello, hello, Maverick Traders. This is Rob Reinhold. It is Thursday, November 16th. Tomorrow is monthly options expiration, so I know it's going to be a busy day for us here at Maverick, likely for you as well. Let's jump into it. In this session, we're going to be going over what happened today, take a look at a little bit of the news. We're going to take a look at the broad markets and commodities. There were big moving commodities today. We're going to see our current market analysis and did it change? Do we have any technical scoring changes in both the sectors and the open markets? And as always, we're looking for trades. I've got two longs and a sideways here for you in this Disclaimer. video. Disclaimer. This video was created for professional stock and option traders. Maverick Trading is a proprietary trading firm that employs professional traders around the world. Our traders trade firm capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of profits they generate. All trades and analysis in this video are for professional traders only. If you are interested in becoming a professional trader for Maverick, click the apply button in the video description. Let's break down what happened today. Over the last three weeks, we've had very high energy days followed by consolidation days. High energy days followed by consolidation. All to the upside, all to the upside, but that's what we've been getting. Today was one of those pauses. So if you take a look at our results for the day, Dow was down 0.1%, S&P up 0.1%, Q is pretty close to flat, but the stories were the Russell. Now look, the Russell, that's a big loss, 1.5%. Let me tell you, the two days before this, the Russell was up a collected 7.3%. Okay, so 7.3% in two days, give back 1.5%. You guys get the point. It had a big run, it had a little give back, nothing all that big. Take a look at the move in oil. Oil is getting absolutely clobbered. I said that the energy sector was ripe for a short last weekend, and sure enough, it has been a very, very good short for the week. But precious metals are holding up nicely. Gold and silver have been holding up. Silver's close to 24 bucks a share or a bucks an ounce. Again, those are holding up very nicely along with their stocks. What was the news today? Not a whole lot. We did have some confirmation about inflation. On Tuesday, we got the CPI that was really low. Yesterday, we got the PPI that was like negative. And today we got import prices are down 0.8%. So the Fed has definitely killed inflation. The big question now is, have they killed it too much? But right here, right now, the markets are very happy with where the Fed has been on inflation. And if anything, I think the markets might be looking towards a possible cut before a possible raise. I don't want to get that far ahead of myself here. When you look at the numbers, it's still more of a chance of a raise than a cut, but not like it was. Let's take a look at the market internals. At this point, you can see that today we still had more down stocks than up stocks. But take a look at that 50 MA, the number of stocks above it. We've now crept well above that 50% line. And again, this is one of those lines in the sand where should you be net bullish or net bearish, you can see most of the stocks out there, the majority are above their 50 day moving average. Let's take a look at this chart here. So we had this big rally off the bottom where we moved up right to resistance. We based there for a couple days and then we had a breakout up above. So look at where we are now. We're right at resistance, right at a resistance point. So what do we expect to happen here? Well, we expect there to be a pause. Now this is a little bit more major resistance than the previous one we broke out. So I do think we pause here for a little bit longer. We are moving into a holiday weekend. And now these holiday weekends tend to be more bullish than bearish, but not all that bullish. And what I mean by that, uh, on a percentage times, whether they're up or down, they are quite high on there being an up week for next week. However, when you take a look at the net return, the net return is quite low, like a 0.1, 0.2%. So I expect this base to probably have some more legs into next week and then possibly break out, you know, after Thanksgiving. But I do think we're going to be in a base. But look, I don't think we're going to see any significant selling whatsoever. And if anything, I think the risk is to the upside breakout because people are underinvested. And if the market keeps going, they are forced to invest to make sure their year end returns look decent. So I still like the market to the upside. I still think the upside looks way better than the downside here. But right here, right now, I think we got to do some consolidation. 
I also want to check in on the 10 year bond and just to show you what's been going on here. So we had this, this fall here, well below the 50 day moving average and then the base. And you can see here, we are now knocking on the bottom end of that base. We are at 4.449%. So we're well below four and a half percent. And this bond market looks like it wants to go lower, the bond yields. That's very bullish for stocks. So I really like the stock story into the rest of the year. I think there's a lot of positives going on. Let's take a look at this heat map. And you can see that there are some red spinkered over, but look at energy. Energy got absolutely hammered today along with Tesla. But for the most part, as you can see, it looks perfectly fine. The big question I have is, do we have a technical scoring change? And the answer is not yet. We do not yet have a cross between the 20 50. We're starting to slope up on that 50. That's the first sign for us to get a little bit more bullish, but we want to see that 20 above the 50. Then we can go to plus three, but for right here, it's still just a plus two, but look, that is a quite bullish market. We can still do some nice bullish trades, even though we're not at a plus three. So, Talking about trades, let's go look at some. Have you been trading in the markets for at least two years? Are you starting to see some decent progress? Is that progress so small because of your limited account size? Maverick Trading is a prop firm that provides capital to profitable traders. You trade a minimum $25,000 account and keep 70 to 80% of the profits. After two consecutive profitable months, you move to a $50,000 account. As you keep progressing, you will be able to trade six and seven figure accounts. To learn more about trading for Maverick Trading, either click on the apply card in the top left, click apply at the end screen or click the link in the description to watch our recruiting video that explains more about Maverick and prop trading. If you like what you see, apply for a position and meet with our recruiters. Are you our next trader? I've got two trades to the long side, one sideways. Look, I think there's some good shorts out there. I think there's still some good shorts out there, but I'm going to focus here today on some longs here. So this is CCJ, Kimiko Corporation. They are in the material sector and they are a uh, uranium mining company. Doesn't really matter. You can see we broke out here and we're trying to hold this level here. I'm not saying that this thing is ready to go right here, right now. This is not a trade. I would say I'm getting in because I think it's going up tomorrow and on Monday. That's definitely not what this trade is. This trade is, hey, you know what? I want to get into this trade because I think over the next couple of weeks, we run up to 45, 46, 47 to the upside. So how do I do that? Well, I pull out a diagonal call spread. I call out a longer dated bull call spread. I can do any number of things. So like a 43, 45 uh, bull call spread. You could even do a 43, 46 bull call spread. I like the 40-45 diagonal call spread. That's the one that I'd be looking at. But again, there's lots of ways to get bullish on this one. You don't have to get ultra bullish. You can just get moderately bullish on this one. Another long that is looking pretty good. I've had my eye on this one for a while. This one has been long for a long time. Sorry, strong for a long time. We've got this resistance here. The market was in a little bit of trouble the last part of October, meeting new lows. Look where this one was in October. It was looking great. We finally got the breakout. And look, I know that's not the candle we want to see on a breakout. We would have much rather seen something hold a little bit better. But guess what? It's what we got. The big question is when it pulled back, did it hold the level? And I think you have to say, yes, we gapped lower today and actually closed higher than that level. Am I saying this thing is taking off tomorrow? No. Same thing as the last trade. It's showing relative strength. It's showing that it wants to make new highs. Yeah, it's going to have little pullbacks here or there. But I think over the next you know, month, I think a target up to 120 is an absolutely valid target. I could do a 110, 120 in December and be very happy with that trade. And looking at a sideways trade here, I've got Dropbox. Now, Dropbox has been very, very strong for most of this year. And you can see it has just cooled off a little bit. We've got some resistance up here at 28. And we've got some support down here at the 2550 area. This is a perfect time for a horizontal spread or for a butterfly. 
So the big question is, where do you want your middle part of it to be? If you want to be a little bit more bullish, I'd say shoot for 27. You want to be a little bit more bearish, shoot for 26. If you don't want to choose one of those points, then you're going to have to do a condor. 25, 26, 27, 28 condor. But I'm going a little bit bullish here up to the 27. That's where I'm going to be, just slightly bullish above this. So looking to do a 26, 27, 28 butterfly. If I've got to go out to December, which I probably do on this one, then I'm going to have to do $2 strikes, 25, 27, 29 to the upside. But sideways on Dropbox. Let's wrap this up. Markets are very bullish. And I do think the big risk is that we do get that performance chasing by the end of the year where we could get another couple percent rally to take us through the end of the year. Holidays are usually more bullish than bearish. Not always, but typically more so. This week is one of the highest weeks of bullishness, but again, the lowest returns typically. But we're typically going to see some more bullishness come in here as far as seasonality patterns go. There's no economic reports. And again, we're going into a holiday shortened week next week. I think that we drift here. Just think about where we are. We just had this big explosive move. We're right up against resistance. We're going into a Thanksgiving week. I just think, I think we're going to hang here. And if anything, I think we're going to hang here and, and build some pressure and maybe, maybe just float up to where then we, we get that breakout. I don't really see much risk here of any big selling, especially with the bonds down here at 4.45%. So I still like the market to the upside, waiting for that plus three to get a little bit more bullish, but you should already be there at this point. That is it for me. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.